This is Bannerman's report. What you're about to see are a few examples of the bigger picture. This is an illegal immigration demonstration that took place at the Holiday Inn on Manvers Way, Wath upon Dern in Rotherham. It was organised by a man, not a woman, despite allegations made by certain individuals. The government, police and independent secret agencies all play a part for the bigger picture to unfold. What was the bigger picture? Can you see a bigger picture? Many would say it's quite obvious, but for the trained eye, the clues are generally found in the actions of people at the scene. If a person claims to be an anti-fascist, are they wise enough to recognise that their own actions have become the very action of what they claim to be against? Anti-fascism is a political movement in opposition to fascist ideologies, groups and individuals, and has been around for about 100 years. Fascism is generally defined as a political movement that embraces far-right nationalism and the forceful suppression of any opposition all overseen by an authoritarian government. Let me just say to people out there, the immigration process is a judicial process. If you dispose of your identity documents and lie about your age, you are perverting the course of justice, which is a secondary uh, but a very important criminal offence. Now we know across the road in there that these people have been harassing local girls, have been harassing local women, so I want people to understand something. This is a roundabout, we're standing off of it, no obstructions. There is no reason for any police officer to come and speak to us, we're completely peaceful. So the police have just arrived now, I'm not sure why the police have arrived. Uh, we'll soon find out, I suppose. Is this the Ring of Fire? You are right now. Give over. Are you going to cross the road for us then? Why do you want to go across the road? <laughs> all right. So the police are mingling now. You're giving directions. Can you just tell me what that direction is? Because We're directing people across the road, as has already been explained to you, Emily. No, no, no. Okay. no. All right, okay. Well, so, this is our village! We've, oh, yeah. we've designated an area, so the Chief Constable is section 14 at um, Public Order Act. So it's just over there and right a little bit. Can so I we're going to be this? hiding people. Would that be reasonable to do that? Because over here they can't see each other. You're actually moving them, of course, together. Okay. We are advising people to move over there. Okay. So you might have your thoughts on it. I'm not aware of all the circumstances, so. So my concern is if it's bringing people together, it might cause conflict. I don't think that's a bad move by the police. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Oh, okay. thank, thank you. Thank you for giving your opinion. Why would you do that unless I wanted it to be? Wow. It's a designated area, it's a designated zone round front of the hotel for everyone to congregate, all right, and we've been moving people on from here. That's is that not a bit controversial? You bring them together. No. No, no, no. Right, thanks. It's all controlled. That's it. Just a controlled environment. Thank you. Yet people in this video appear passionate about a major concern and are opposed to government. This raises a rational question. Why are some people labelled a fascist from some people who appear to better identify as a fascist themselves? Sociology forms part of my research. And truth be told, not every person will act the same way as captured in this video clip you're about to see. A rather large churn out from Sheffield, three bus loads. Could you just briefly explain why you're here today? No? What about yourself? Could you briefly explain why you're here today? Who are you? Social media reporting on the events of today. You are social media in part and of, of yourself, are you? Part, part yeah. of it. Piss off. Sorry? Piss off. Really? Yes, go away. You don't need to be so. But go away. Go away. I'm, I'm backing up. Go, well, go on then. Be careful. Back off, back be off careful. over to your other side. Yeah, yeah, back off careful. over to your other side. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Yeah, go on I'm then. Yeah, Get going. over to your other side. What's the other side? That's a bit racist. Over there, isn't it? Over there with all fucking gammons are. Fuck off. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Off. Get off. Get off, mate. Go on. On your fucking bike. Fucking gammon. Get over there with rest of fucking pigs. Fucking scum. In all fairness, I don't think he represents everybody, but you, you, you know, you, you could think that he does actually, because uh, nobody seems to say, don't talk to people like that. 
what is society turning into? You know, that kind of level of aggression. It's uh, I'm cool, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you arguing with him for? I'm not arguing, the video will show that. I'm just well, a journalist. Just, well, I just yeah, saw yeah, over yeah. there, they were just Yeah, yeah. To, to be fair, him. from my point of view, I'm just a journalist today. Uh, they took offence to the fact that I asked questions. Right. And uh, effing this, effing that, Jeffing, you know what it is. Yeah. So I, I backed off. What kind of questions are you asking um, to get there? Why are you here today? Right. Which is reasonable. Uh, yeah. And then That's they just true. turned on me, should you say. You know what I mean? I'm not really bothered about that because uh, you know they're passionate about something. Yep. They didn't want to share that with me, so the people will judge the situation for what it is. If they don't want to share the message, that's their problem, isn't it? Right. Okay. All I'd ask is you don't antagonise people. Oh no, no. I know. Right. To be fair, you've got to say that, but yep. I'm not antagonising people. Okay. And the video shows that. Oh, I can't see it though, can I? That's the only. Well, portion. trust me. When they get me to court, that's the, that's where they usually throw it out. Right. Okay. <laughs> this raised a rational question based on what is perceived to be an irrational response. When a person acts in such a way deemed irrational, does this mean they are a bully, a temperamental adult, a fascist, or something else? I can't see this. Hey, get off! Go away! Oh, go, go away! Just pushing me. Go Why away! Why are you pushing me? Because I know who oh, and what oh, oh. you are. Now go away! You grab the camera and you push me. Go away! Make it go away! I'd like to make an allegation against you because you just pushed me back. For anybody who is interested in seeing the full context of all these video clips and much more besides. Click subscribe and hit that bell notification and then you shouldn't miss the next upload which will be very soon. And what you will see in the full video includes the beginning which starts with Antifa, South Yorkshire Police and the rest of the day as it unfolds. Including irrational people and people who strategically and peacefully demonstrated on a roundabout right next to the Holiday Inn Express. Following this incident, the man had to provide his details to the police officer an incident number was generated, and then this is what he had to say when I was preparing to leave the area. You shouldn't be pushing people around, man. Naughty. Piss oh, fuck off! off. Yeah. What kind of example does this man set when he is also associating himself with the people he claims to be a solution for, when in actual fact, appears to be a problem? There was nothing social about this man, or the people who appear to lay in wait, approach, and then label everybody with a camera, a fascist. What has society become? Can someone deal with him, please? We have no idea who he is. Sorry? Doesn't the section 14 order apply to him? Are you an accredited journalist? Uh, uh, are you an accredited journalist? I'm a journalist. Are you an accredited journalist? You have a journalist what is an accredited journalist? Well, I mean, you literally, like, do you want to explain it to him? <laughs> I, I'm a journalist. Have you got a union card, NUJ, press card, National Union of Journalists? No, I don't have one of those. You don't, you don't have, so you're not in the They're National not, Union not, of Journalists. So what, what you're doing, you're actually paying for your membership, aren't you? Can you move them along? I'm independent of the National Union of Journalism. You're not in a union, I have to I don't need to be in a union. Right. There's a lot of press here to this. Uh, freelance journalists, freelance photographers, there are some mainstream media here as well, so... Fair enough, but who's he? Would you like to say anything while you're here today? Would you like to say anything? Yeah. Yeah, why are you here today? Well, the protest racism and, you know, I'm, I'm also a folk nut, so, yeah. Can I just uh, ask you a legitimate question? Yeah. A lot of people have got concerns about the safety of people coming across the channel. Let's just say, for instance, uh, a, a dinghy full of about 10, 20 men. Yeah. What are the government doing, in your opinion, in order to help save those people I don't know, from man. drowning? I just came here this country about three months ago. Now what the police have uh, been doing is, is trying to set us up, uh, move us into pens in the grounds of the hotel where three coach loads of Antifa are there. They've brought in old uh, police vans and I said to the police officer earlier, you're just trying to set people up. Tight! Squeeze! Get them squeeze! 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 Get them squeeze! Landlords are having meetings now in like, centres like this. Giving up all the properties is circo. You're getting a section 23 notice on your house telling you don't want to evict you because they want to put migrants in your house and get you out on the street. So Seiko, Clear Springs and Mears signed a 4.2 billion contract in 2019, 10 year contract to house, illegal, uh, house migrants. Um, now Seiko has put out on their email list 
um, meetings around the country for potential landlords to give up their properties, offering you five years, fully paid everything, council tax, TV, water, electric, gas, everything, no bills, any damage that's caused, they will repair that and give you a new house after five years. I've actually been inside and asked them if I could speak to them, but they don't want to give an interview. Comes to work though, because they don't want to tell the truth, do they? They don't want to tell the truth, they're all getting paid for. We're paying for them. And there's people of this country laid on the streets, ex-veterans laid on the streets. Well, we're paying for people, and most, uh, most of them have probably been criminals. They've come 4,000 miles across the world, and they're vulnerable. I don't think so, do you? It's hard to say really, we hope to actually meeting them and speaking yeah. to them, but uh, I know there's a big concern about groups of men coming in dinghies, uh, whether they're actually they're legitimate or not. Where's the, where's the women and kids? It's 90% young men. And they say there's a side of fighting in the war, but they're not, are they? Well, that's a fair comment. So, I'm just trying to understand, you've been busted in from Sheffield today. Yeah. Why, why are you here today? To stop these fascists from dividing our communities. And how can you elaborate on that for today? Uh, sorry, you've kind of caught me off guard here. Do you have a spokesperson or a representative I could speak to? Uh, probably, I don't know, someone over there probably. All right. Sorry. All right, cheers. Would you like to say anything why you're here today? I don't know. You, you don't know why you're here? Okay. I don't know why I'm here, yeah. Oh, right, so why are you here today? Because of asylum seekers. The, the yeah. Are, the migrants. Yeah, migrants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, do you think well, the government are actually doing enough? Not really. What do you think about, you know, people coming over in dinghies? Do you think it's safe? No, it's not safe. And in a lot of these dinghies, there's a lot of men, young men, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, I think that's what the controversy is here. Yeah. It's whether the government are doing enough about these people crossing the channel. Yeah. Not only putting their lives at risk, yes, they but are. also not answering a lot of serious questions yeah. that the people of Great Britain have. Yes, of course, you yeah, are great to feel for them, yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank you. I'm packed.